Back in the late 90s, American company Alta Cleansing released the world's first soundbar. Now back then no one really cared because decent 5.1 systems were becoming really affordable. It wasn't until 2002 when Pioneer introduced the world's first digital sound projection soundbars that tech giants scrambled to their drawing boards and completely shift the market. In fact, by 2010 each and every audio and electronics company came up with their soundbar and all had a go at virtual surround processing. Back then, soundbars weren't really taken seriously because the market was saturated with poor performing soundbars and they were really considered just an upgrade for your LCD sound. See, the problem was that companies claimed that they could project sound from the back, virtually. However, they could not cater for the variables in living spaces of clients. Bose saw potential in this medium and decided to do what Bose usually do, blow everyone away. In 2011, in fact, Bose launched the Cinemate 1 SR. It had a state-of-the-art sound projection system which was adapted from the Video Wave, the phase guide system. The system was able to adapt the sound projection to virtually any kind of room and create an immersive surround feel. The wireless a subwoofer packed a punch and its sleek design is still relevant today. After a couple of years, Bose decided to invest heavily into the soundbar market and released the SoundTouch 300, which was a mix and match system and suited different needs and budgets of a wide variety of consumers. Bose kept investing heavily into research and development, making their products more versatile and accessible. Their new soundbar product line is perhaps the most versatile and technologically advanced to date. There are two main products in the line, the Soundbar 500 and the Soundbar 700. They both allow to mix and match modules and components depending on your budget or desired setup. Today I'll be reviewing my personal favorite, the Bose Soundbar 700. At just under 900 euros this product comes as a standalone speaker array with the AdaptiQ audio calibration system and also the phase guide system, both adapted from the Cinemate 1 SR. Unlike the Bose Soundbar 300, this uses a new smart platform with compliance for both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi networks at higher and more stable speeds. The network card was upgraded, but perhaps the most significant upgrade was the core processor, which allowed for faster processing speed and allows for more flexibility in terms of built-in technology. The more powerful processor allowed for the introduction of voice control on the device. In fact, out of the box, it is an Alexa-enabled speaker. It also allows for voice input through its 8 microphone array system, even whilst playing music. Unfortunately, Alexa doesn't work in EU countries outside of Germany and the UK, but the system is compatible once Alexa rolls out, and hardware-wise it's pretty much compatible with all voice recognition services out there. Right out the box this device is very easy to use and set up. The design is sleek and takes up very little space. Thanks to the face guide technology and quiet port design, the listening experience is out of this world. The system reduces distortion and whitens the sound field, whilst projecting sound in places where there are no physical speakers. Although the size of this thing is pretty small, it packs an astounding punch. I couldn't believe its capabilities. As is, the Soundbar 700 strikes a particular balance between low and high notes, unlike competing products which fail to perform without a subwoofer. As I said before, you can mix and match components and modules. I tested both the 500 and 700 base modules and they both sound amazing. To be honest, if I had to buy a base module, I would go for the 700, simply because it has deeper, more powerful notes. I would also suggest it over the 500 if you have higher ceilings and a large open plan space. You can also get two wireless surround speakers to add to the system. This gives you a new level of sound projection and gives a more immersive cinematic feel. I do however feel that by its own, it's more than enough. The system is virtually distortion free and can bring the house down in the most effortless and elegant way. The system is extremely dynamic, managing to shift the sound profile from cinema to music instantly. This gives the user the best performance, regardless what they are listening to. You can also connect your Bose smart speakers to the system allowing for multi-room systems and control everything through the application, which is pretty intuitive. The application is very versatile and easy to use. You can control all your systems connected to your multi-room smart platform. The physical remote control is also very intuitive in design. It has a dynamic adaptive system which only illuminates the keys for the profile you are selecting. When connecting the base module, the dynamic digital crossover frequency system kicks in. This shifts low frequency sounds to the base modules, allowing the soundbar to reach high loudness levels distortion free. The same happens when you connect the rear speakers. The phase guide system converts from virtual 5.0 to left, right, center. Sound performance is simply fantastic and it blew me away. I can honestly say this is one of the best soundbars I have ever tried, even better than the 1SR, which cost twice as much. 
So that's your feature for today. Keep following us on Facebook, YouTube, and now even on Stareable. If you want to follow the podcast, just follow us on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, and even tune in. See you next time.